Touch of Death is an adventure module released in 1991 for character levels 3 to 5. Written by Bruce Nesmith and interior art by Stephen Fabian and a cover by Clyde Caldwell, the adventure takes place in the Egyptian-themed domain of Har Akir and is 30 pages in length with a gatefold cover map. The heroes find themselves transported to the desert domain of Har Akir and they seek shelter in the village of Muhar. The village has been under siege as of late. People have been kidnapped and taken into the desert, never to be seen again. Over the next few days, the players will try to solve what has been going on and confront the priestess Isu in the village temple. Isu has turned evil and resurrected the evil mummy Senmet, but has lost control of him. Senmet seeks to build an undead army to take control of the domain. The only hope the players have is to enter Anktopot's tomb and awaken the Dark Lord of Harkar. Anctopot so he can destroy Sinmen. The adventure plays out in two halves. While in the village of Muhar, a series of events will happen over the course of several days, eventually leading them to the village temple in Isu. The second half is a standard dungeon crawl through the tomb of Anctopot. The ancient Egyptian theme is prevalent, and any fan of mummy movies will certainly enjoy this module. The adventure is paced fairly well. The domain of Harakir is fleshed out well enough, although no village map of Muhar is provided, but it is not really needed. Semet is a good villain. He is too powerful for the heroes, but he is played for menace. He's always lurking in the shadows, but never directly confronts the heroes. This would be the first module to introduce the Hexad Prophecy, although canonically it is the second adventure in the series and the players will be able to get their hands on an actual copy of the prophecy. And one of the actual prophecies do occur during the ending of this adventure. Touch of Death is a fantastic module, and even if it wasn't part of the Hexad series, I would still highly recommend it. It's structured well, includes a mystery, a trip to a mummy's tomb, and a whole bunch of mummy fights. The ancient Egypt's domain is unique for most of the domains of Ravenloft and does provide a nice change of pace. Easy for any DM to run and a challenge for players but not overly so where it seems unfair, Touch of Death just hits that nice sweet spot. The mist of Ravenloft envelop you once again. When you realize where they've taken you, it's too late. You find yourself in the burning wastelands of Harakir where nothing is as it seems. The desert is a powerful foe, but in Harikir an ancient evil is awakening and the desert will be the least of your worries. As withered hands cast off ancient shrouds, little can save you from their touch of death. <laughs>